This is the kind of wheels coming off. There's been stages of Republican delusion about Donald Trump. And so first was that somehow he wouldn't be a front runner in a Republican primary, which is crazy because, yes, I mean, my God, Republican base would, of course, be totally repulsed by a message of xenophobia and racism. Racist billionaire? Yeah, wait. <laughs> Every single thing that this party has rewarded and forwarded for decades would somehow be uh, you know, offensive. To it's objectified in my body. It's literally who I am. I am the worst of everything in one vehicle. Um, and then, uh, of course, he won. Moving forward, then clearly they had this plan going in, which is like, look, Pence will run the show. He'll be babysat. We'll fly him around. We'll tell him he's president. He'll get to play with all the big toys. And then we'll get rid of health care, destroy the environment, get rid of financial deregulation, maybe escalate some wars. They have been escalating some wars. Um and, uh, and, and give away money to rich people, and he can just sort of be president. That's obviously not working um, because, well, Bob Corker might have some insight about this. They're asking Bob Corker, and uh, Senator Corker had some thoughts about Trump's stability. The president has not yet, um, has not yet been able to demonstrate the stability nor some of the confidence that he needs to demonstrate in order to be successful. And, uh, and we need for him to be successful. Our nation needs for him to be successful. It doesn't matter whether you're Republican or Democrat. We need for our president, the world needs our president to be successful. Actually, quite the opposite. It's uh, the sort of bizarre saving grace in some ways of the time we're living in is Trump's lack of stability and competence. Um, and shockingly, Donald Trump, it took him, how long was this? It took him about a, a week. A full week. A full week to counterpunch, I would imagine. I don't think that uh, General Kelly actually takes the phone literally out of Trump's hands, but the amount of trinkets they had to put in front of him, the amount of distractions, the amount of like, I wonder what they tell him, like when he's about to do a Bob Corker tweet, like, I heard that, uh, you know, that... Jesse Waters said ESPN's yeah. really stupid these days, and you need to see this right away. Yeah, well, oh, wow, yeah. ESPN is totally with Barack and against me, and it's unfair. Well, Donald Trump did finally respond as of this morning. Strange statement by Bob Corker, considering that he's constantly asking me whether or not he should run again in 18. Tennessee, not happy. <laughs> and this remains the most bizarre thing about Donald Trump because it's like this is truly what he is best at the, he's not good at real estate he's not good at casinos his businesses have been bankrupted his daddy needed to fund him his daddy needed to bail him out he uh, you know I guess he's good at he's also good at reality TV and apparently he's good at doing fake scam university. But the true gift that Donald Trump has is not for business, it's not for entrepreneurship, it's not for certainly any type of political leadership, but he owned Republicans so well during the primary. He decimated these horrible mediocrities, Lindsey Graham, Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush, one after the other. And now I wonder... When this article, when the, oh, this is from the vetting process, so this wasn't recently re-leaked. <laughs> but apparently, Bob Corker was on Donald Trump's list. Uh, he was under consideration for VP. And Secretary of State. And Secretary of State. Was, oh, this was for Secretary of State. I had actually think that Bob Corker was floated, I think, also briefly for VP. This was during the transition um, and uh, Corker, who does sit on the Foreign Relations Committee, was also uh, considered for Secretary of State. Um, Trump had a lot of fun with this process. You remember that picture in the Manhattan res restaurant of Mitt Romney looking like, hello. hello, this is Mitt Romney. I'm being tortured and emasculated in real time. Uh, but apparently Bob Corker was on that, uh, was not tall enough 
to make it on Trump's short list. And this is a piece, this is from USA Today. I'll read from it. Jack uh, McRoy reported that U.S. Senator Bob Corker lists his height as five foot seven. I think that's wishful thinking. <laughs> My growth spurt, such as it was, topped out at just below five foot four. I've lost and I've lost uh, altitude since then. Still, anytime I've shaken hands with Torch Corker, we're pretty much eye to eye in height, if not in policy. So it wasn't a huge surprise for me that when the Daily Cor report, uh, Caller reported last week that Corker's diminutive stature helped disqualify him for the Secretary of State's job. So, see, I just think you're not tall enough to be Secretary of State. So take I, that. I don't think you're tall enough. Maybe, maybe in a certain sense, you're not tall enough to be a senator. <laughs> Is there like anything that Donald Trump does? Like, <laughs> you go through history of like all of the great people in history who would just be immediately disqualified. I mean, obviously because you know Cesar Chavez was Mexican. MLK was black, but then we're also going to start getting into like disqualified, disqualified, but like FDR was in a wheelchair. Could he really negotiate? Like in a certain sense, wasn't he the one that we, maybe we would have won World War II faster. <laughs> like, it's, is that the thought It's process? hard to know how Trump would use that actually. Like, what do you say? And maybe he would have lived out his final term. Maybe would have lived out. A lot of people would have liked him to live out his final term. I would have liked him to have been tougher. And I'm definitely going to live out mine. And Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube abs have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.